Hey everyone, it's Dylan from Out of No Reviews coming at you with another review this week. On the weekend for once, so that's kind of cool. For the remake of the remake <laughs> of The Magnificent Seven. And for those of you who don't know, The Magnificent Seven is a remake of the 1960s Magnificent Seven, which in turn was a remake from Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. So yes, this is a remake of a remake. Magnificent Seven is directed by Anton Fuqua, starring... Uh, a lot of people. Some of which of likes are Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, Vincent D'Onofrio, Ethan Hawke, and a bunch of other people. Now, I was expecting to walk into this just a like a, a fun, silly, popcorn western movie, which we don't get a lot of anymore because apparently the western genre likes to kind of rest for a while and then re-emerge re whenever it feels like it. And that's pretty much what I got from this movie. The thing I give this movie credit for is that it knows what it is. It knows what it wants to be. It doesn't try to be anything bigger than what it says it has to be. A, a fun western. It doesn't try to be too incredibly serious. It doesn't really try to do much else other than just be a fun western movie. That was a remake of The Magnificent Seven. And that's pretty much what you get. And with that, you know, you have solid acting. Everyone's pretty solid in this. You have, you know, Denzel Washington, great as always. Vincent D'Onofrio is amazingly crazy and weird. You have people like Bjorn Hun Lee, who I didn't expect anything of, but they were really fun. Ethan Hawke, great. Uh, Chris Pratt, though, I prefer, I kind of prefer him in a supporting role instead of a leading man, other than Guardians of the Galaxy. That was, like, the one exception. But I don't know. There was something about him in this movie that I'm just like, I mean, I mean you're really likable and fun. I'm starting to see Chris Pratt. I'm not seeing a character, I'm seeing Chris Pratt, and I mean, I, I, I really enjoy Chris Pratt, he's a lot of fun. I'm not saying he's bad, he's, he's, his character is incredibly fun to watch, he does some fun stuff with magic tricks, and you know, Chris Pratt is just so incredibly fucking charming that I can't not enjoy when he's on screen. And of course, this is a remake, it has some solid groundwork in terms of its story and how it's set up, because this is a timeless story that's been told so many times, so it's just kind of a staple, you know, you can't go wrong with this kind of story. Town is... In trouble by a like a gang or in this case more of like a business type guy who just wants the land. The town's poor, farmers don't know how to fight back, they hire Denzel Washington to kind of fix up this mess. He manages to find six other guys including himself which makes the Magnificent Seven who have to teach and protect this little town from the big bad guy and his army of dudes. This movie also has some pretty solid pacing because you know it's based on an older movie that also had a nice streamlined story that goes by quick and has the right beats so I gotta give this movie credit for that. You know you don't get bored with it. You don't just you don't groan like oh, is this almost over. You get what you come for and it delivers when you want it to deliver. Speaking of which the action in this movie is just so incredibly fun. I mean there's about, I think, two big set pieces. You know, there's just good old-fashioned fun Western shootouts, which, you know, we don't get that many of anymore, so it's kind of refreshing to see, like, just people running around just to, just fucking going at it. And, you know, they do a lot with that final scene, and I, I thought it was a lot of fun to watch. And, you know, they build it up the whole movie, and they deliver on what they promise. Also, being a Western, a modern Western at that, it is shot very well. I mean... It's shot very well. We have, you know, classic Western giant landscapes and all that. And Anton Fuqua directed this fantastically. Very tight, solid movie. All right, now let's talk about the stuff I was not a fan of. When, in retrospect, this movie was not necessary whatsoever. Did they really re need to remake this? No. Did they do it? Yes. Are we stuck with it? Yeah. Is that a bad thing? Some may say so. I just thought I'd rein it up instead of just kind of leaving it off to the side because this movie really isn't that necessary to have. In a movie like this with um, a big cast there's not much character development let's get that out of the way there really isn't you don't really know these guys too well Kira Kurosawa had the liberty of having a three and a half hour movie to do that and the Magnificent Seven kind of did it sprinkled throughout the, the older one I mean this one there are definitely characters who really don't get anything like at all like you they're just there to exist and you know, that's a bummer you kind of want to get behind these guys like all of them like you of course you immediately get behind like Denzel and Chris Pratt but there's just some of these guys where you're just like, eh, I mean, you're here, you're cool and all. But this movie's really not trying to be much. It's not like a dram hefty, dramatic, tour de force masterpiece. You know, it's it's silly fun, so I can't really knock it for what it is. But, you know, you gotta try to step the bar up a little bit. I mean, this is, done, this is not really doing anything that Westerns haven't done before. And while that's good and fine, you gotta try to want something a little more out of these kinds of things. This one's just a completely personal one, not everyone's gonna have this opinion. I wasn't really big on the changes to the ending of the film. I thought they added some stuff that, like, 
like some backstory stuff to Denzel's character where I'm just like, well, guys, you, this is a little too late for this now, isn't it? I just think it just kind of ditched the themes of the original one, which I was not a fan of. But, you know, that's not too big of a deal for most. So, overall, Magnificent Seven, super fun action western movie. Very well made. Good action. You don't, you don't get bored of it. But, you know... You kind of want something more out of a movie like this, you know. It's very, pre it's very predictable. It's very by the numbers. You've seen it before. Remember, I wasn't too big on the changes to the ending, but that's just personal taste. Like I said, this is just a good time in the movie, and that's why I'm gonna give Magnificent Seven a seven out of ten. I did not really intend to make that a joke, but yeah, I'd say definitely just check it out. It's fun. Don't really expect much from it, and you'll have a good time. Hey guys, if you liked what you see and you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel to get more movie reviews when movies come out that I just so happen to see. Also, you can hit that like button if you like my video. You can comment what you thought of The Magnificent Seven. And that's about it. So I will see you guys next time.